Hi, I'm Chris, and I'm going to show you how to do triggering with an NI data acquisition device in LabVIEW. Triggering is useful for starting or stopping a data acquisition operation based on some external event. You can see here I'm using a USB data acquisition device, and I've plugged my function generator into analog input zero. I'm also using a mechanical switch, and I've plugged it into PFI line 10, which will detect my trigger signal. So triggering can also be useful for synchronizing the start of multiple devices at the same time or for synchronizing the start of my acquisition with my device under test. So if I switch over to LabVIEW, you'll see I've already placed my data acquisition assistant, which has already been configured for a finite acquisition. So when I press the run button, it will return a certain number of, a finite number of samples. So if I want to configure my trigger, I simply double click the DAC assistant, click the triggering tab, and I can configure my trigger type. You can see the analog triggers are grayed out because they're not compatible with this device, but some other devices can do analog triggering and trigger if the analog signal has crossed a certain threshold. In this example, I'll be doing a digital trigger because my mechanical switch outputs a digital pulse. I can also select the trigger source, which we connected to PFI line 10 earlier, and I can select the edge, so I can trigger off the rising or the falling edge of my digital pulse. After I hit OK, and the DAC assistant generates, now when I run the VI, you'll see nothing happens, and now when I flip my switch and send the digital pulse, you can see the acquisition is taken. If I do it again, you'll see when I flip the switch, again the acquisition occurs when the device receives the digital pulse. Another thing I can do is to add a while loop around my DAC assistant to create a retriggerable input. So now when I run the VI, it'll continue running and it'll, it'll wait for me to receive my trigger. So now when it receives the trigger, it'll take the acquisition iterate in the loop, and now wait for another trigger. And that's how you do triggering with an NI data acquisition device in LabVIEW.